Well, you can criticise the raw mint for a lot, but you cannot easily criticise them for their amazing proof coins. Uh, their bullion, I think they've still got some learning to do in the quality assurance kind of uh, stakes, uh, or maybe that's what they intend. But um, when it comes to proof coins that are moved through the mint by hand, um, they're struck anything up to six times. Um, you know, they've been producing amazing proof coins in gold for many years. And um, as some of you might know, I collect these little tiny dinky one-tenth of an ounce gold um, proof Britannias. Uh, Britannias have been produced every year since 1987, so they make a really good um, focus for a collection, because there's lots of different years. Some years the design in the proof is the same, some years there's a special design, um, and I've been gradually working towards filling in the gaps. Um, I have graded all of my Britannias apart from the 2015 that I have in a gold proof set. Um, and so each time I get one, I send it off to NGC, grade them, and then I enter that coin in the NGC's registry, uh, just for a little bit of fun. And at the moment, I've got the, uh, the these coins in the NGC registry, and um, it's just quite kind of fun when I when I see one the right year. Uh, if it's not too expensive, I buy it. Um, I did have a few, um, a few duplicates and stuff like that but I sold them a few months ago trying to then uh, use the money from that to buy some of the years that I'm missing. Um, I found this 2002 looks to be in spectacular condition and this one is going to be sent over to NGC to be slabbed and to add to my collection and you can see here as I hold it up to the light you can see the quality of the strike is just about tip top totally I can't see any flaws on this coin looks like a 70 to me so um, if you keep watching this video then you'll see the rest of the collection so let's watch to Tom Lehrer's uh, The Element Song what a great song difficult to find a royalty free version There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holmium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercanium and and magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium and lead, praseodymium and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium and tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, berkelium, and also mendelevium, einsteinium, nobelium, and argon, kryptonium, and radon, xenon, zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard. And there may be many others, but they haven't been discovered. Uh.